What's going on guys, welcome back to Let's Play Mother 3. In the last episode, I enjoyed defeating the green guy. This episode, we're going to talk to Mr. Saturns. Whew, saved. Big Mask, we're asking about the needle's location. Do you really not know where it is? Do know. Do know. No. Do do know. They say they know. Does that mean they've met one of the mad gypsies? Ding ding! Met. Can go far that way. Easy. Ding! Can go. That way means that way. I can tell by their eyes. North. They're saying to go toward the volcano to the north. Huh. We are... I did... Sorry. It's hard to read them, even even trying to speak like them. We are catched a lot. We are cat lots. We are Mr. Saturns. Always get catched. Barely barley tea. Or is that eat? There's some things I want to forget and some things that I have forgotten. But have you forgotten me? It's me and Rope Snake. I apologize for the trouble I caused earlier. No, I'm not depressed. I'm not Really, I'm not depressed. Have map? Give you! Hey, we got a map. And any one of you motherfuckers heal us. We all good friends. All everyone. No, oh, understand what is what. You had to all come from now on? I don't even know, man. Now then. Now then? Do not know now then. Was well, scary. But now unscary. I'm relieved. I love the Mr. Saturns. Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell too. I am Mr. Saturn. Ding! Can do all for you. You want buy? Zoom? Yes. We want buy. Funny stick! Barefoot shoes? Um. I need to go ahead and, uh. withdraw from the frog here. Doesn't seem like I have enough for a lot of things. The flame pendant is a good idea to get. Um, actually, any one of these are an okay idea. Boing ribbon. Prevents forgetfulness. Yeah, everything is just expensive. Let's see, uh... Gonna sell stuff. Probably later, once we're done with the volcano. Thank you, thank you. Yes, zoom. Hi, hi, hi. You come buying? You can sell to- wait, what? A 
another shop? What do you have? Oh, so this... Okay, so they, uh... Cup of Life Noodles! Ooh, that's so good. Okay, so if anyone has never played Earthbound before, a Cup of Life Noodles is basically a one-up in item form. It's extremely good. This hole. Two Cliff and Fire Mountain. I, I really need to heal. I, I want to find the doctor of this place. I can't. Um, I guess I'll just use a uh, life of beta on uh on Boney for now. Mr. Saturn smoothie smoothie after bath. You go Fire Mountain? Zoom zoom. Up to five peoples. Playing ladder. Can climb. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Tip top. Girl. Use hot spring, wash exhaust off. Did you just say Doka? Alright, so I guess this is uh, what I was looking for. I didn't actually need to uh, heal Boney, but it doesn't matter because the hot spring will help our uh, PSI as well. Um, I don't know if I've said it before. Um, the, uh, the Mr. Saturn's text is actually based off of Shikisato Toy's uh, daughter's handwriting at the time. I don't even know, man. Fire Mountain, above, cliff. Can go. This wall here is too solid for wall staples. I, I get the idea. Itty, itty ditty, wait before going up. Really? Go up. Hmm. Just a few more. Or we'll make us fall. Okay, okay. Going. Paul Barley T. Short prints on face. Shoe prints on face. Boing. Sweating Mr. Saturn. Slippy. Sneeze come out, windows grabbed. Fall apart. Fun! Alright. You can tell that I've, I have too much enjoyment from the Mr. Saturns. Anyways, now we are... We have met the next Mad Gypsy. Sleep talking? Me? Sleep talking? This is me sleep talking. Slacking? Hmm. This letter from Phygria. Phygia? Phygia? Yes. Welcome! I'm Phygria, the sleeping mad gypsy. I assume I'll be fast asleep when you arrive, so I'm leaving this letter here for you. 
though they're more serious and detailed oriented than other mad gypsies. Hello again, Lucas. Ionia told me you would be coming here. The dark dragon needle you're to pull is in a lake of lava up ahead. Oh boy. I don't mind if you pull it when I'm asleep. It will mean the time has come, and I will disappear in my sleep. There's a boulder blocking the path to the volcano. You should give it some encouraging words. Well, good luck. I'm not reading that last part. <laughs> we got some encouraging words! Yay! For encouragement! We can also shop here. <laughs> Long run, I mean stocked up. First off, um... We just want to get as many of these for Boney as we can, because Boney always goes first. That That's my advice. Boney needs to have... Yeah, gosh, I just had a hiccup. Bunny needs to have uh, the immediate uh, items for healing because he always goes first, pretty much. Lucas spoke the encouraging words to the boulder. Alright. A vertical boulder. We got some new enemies here. This one! The Sky Titany. Basically, a flying version of the Mother One enemy. This guy's actually pretty hard, but nothing uh, you shouldn't be uh, too used to by now. PK Free. PK Freeze is probably going to do a lot of damage. You can also use Wall Staples. Also loves to do smash attacks, apparently. Oh yeah, Freeze is amazing here. That was a lot of damage dust it took just there. We also have this enemy. You encountered Miss Lava! I assume attacking her physically is not a good idea. Smells like an animal. Weak against eyes. Weak against sleep. Was that PK Fire Gamma? All oh, that hurt. Okay, we need to do uh, life up. You. Need a guard. And you need to use uh, that on Kimatora. Okay. <laughs> now I can actually go and heal. Uh, yeah, goods. Wow, that took all my stuff. Uh, no, there's from here. I didn't get the... Ooh, hold on. Uh, give that to Boney. Double jerky. What's up? 
Hey you, you hear about Mr. Facade? Apparently he's undergone a huge makeover to change his image. Yeah, I heard about that. Apparently he's made some pretty hardcore changes to himself, sound-wise. Sounds like we better find that needle fast before he starts yelling at us even louder than before. And this time, he's got horns, no less. Horns? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I love how he just stands there. Pig Mask Captain! Okay. Okay, love. Okay, fire beta. Uh, attack. And attack. Thank goodness that missed. I don't want to get too damaged. Also don't want to use too much, uh... Too much PSI. Lucas is now level 36. HP up by 5, PP up by 3, offense up by 2, IQ up by 1, speed up by 1. Boney is now level 36. HP up by 6, offense up by 1, IQ up by 1, speed up by 1. Uh, okay. Duster's now level 30. HP up by 5, offense up by 2, defense up by 1. And we're going to go ahead and use that double jerky on Lucas. You have to be guarding that, don't you? Yoink! I cannot believe that actually worked. Kumator is now level 35. Apparently you can hit them physically. HP up by 3, PP up by 4, Offense up by 3, Defense up by 1, IQ up by 2, Speed up by 1. Oh, we got a new enemy right here. The Firefly. Oh. The Firefly. I hate how it can use PK Fire Gamma. That's pretty wild. Um, life up. Oh my gosh, everyone needs life up now. I think I'm doing something wrong, guys. I do not remember dying this much in Earthbound. I remember dying this much for sure in, uh, oh, hey. Can go down, can go up, can fall. Oh, I thought I'd do, I'd do that, okay. I do not remember dying this much. Looking at Sky. Come up here, easy, easy. Ladder hit there. I do not remember dying this much in, uh, Earthbound. But Mother, I do. Except Mother was a hard game in general. Like, Mother was a really hard game. Oh, Kumator too. Hopefully we're getting a Gamma move. Although I wouldn't mind getting, like, defense down and stuff. Good thing I have a fresh mint. Yeah, I just... 
I do not remember getting my ass handed to me this much by the game. Off in Sup Omega, that's pretty nice. And now Kimitoras should be right about... I have to fight both of them, don't I? Well, let's see what Kimitora gets. It's cute. Yeah, here we go. Okay, Hypnosis Omega, that's... that's nice. Dust is now level 31. You know what I need is Life of Omega. HP up by 7, IQ up by 1. Oh man, come on. Okay, I really do not want to fight Miss Lava ever again. This place seems cold. Is that a new enemy? Totally is, Scampering Mushroom. What are you weak to? I assume fire? Yes. Why the hell are you here then? I mean, no matter, I can attack both of you at once. Or I can just get rid of one. Oh! Bones level 37, HP up by 4, offense up by 2, defense up by 2, IQ up by 1, speed up by 1. Saltwater gun. I really do not know how this is going to be useful. Okay. Whoa! Not cool. I'm gonna go around. Is that volcano? Yes, that is an enemy. Magma Man. Or Magman. I don't like his eruptions. Look at Snell level 37, HP up by 4, PP up by 4, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, speed up by 1. I mean, they left the present. Double jerky. Nice. Uh, let me go ahead and use that on Lucas. Are you kidding me? <gasps> Magic butterfly! Oh, I should have healed everyone! Ah, oh, that was stupid. Luxury banana. Can I, like, not fight the damn firefly? Kimitar's now level 36, HP up by 5, PP up by 1, IQ up by 1. What? Downstairs is now level 32, HP up by 5, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, speed up by 2. Those eruptors, they can spawn fireflies! 
<sighs> I don't I don't care about that thing. Let's just pull the needle. Let's hope there's no boss, because if there is a boss, I am just I finally found you! I finally found you! <laughs> that is what Facade says. Please forgive my late introduction. I'm Facade's interpreter. Because of you, I feel more beautiful, newer, and more, pow and more wonderful than ever before. But I will not thank you. Is what Fasad just said. Blunder? Threw me off Blunder Tower? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Ah, off Thunder Tower. You threw me off Thunder Tower. He goes to say, the resulting shame, pain, and woe are humiliating. Very humiliating. Therefore, I very much like to return the favor in full. Today will be the day I make you cry. I will make you cry, Uncle. I do not believe I will ever lose the likes of you again. <laughs> so what Fasada says. Now let us begin, sirs. I will show a mature, grown-up terribleness. And what terribleness is a very mature and grown-up terribleness. So what Fasada says. He also has... <laughs> Somehow this bastard's alive. Anyways, Facade, boss of this area. First off, we are probably going to want to heal, like, no tomorrow. I'm going to use a wall staple. And I'm going to use a saltwater gun. I assume he's mechanical. And Duster took mortal damage. Fantastic. Okay, so Duster's gonna be out. Uh, Kumatora, you were supposed to heal me. I'm actually kind of scared. Okay, hopefully Lucas can use PK life up. Good. Okay. Despite Duster being out because of bullshit area, we're gonna try this. First up, gonna lay down a shield Omega. Second up, we're going to lay down a offense down. Third up, we're going to attack. Get rid of his shield. Okay, the fleas are annoying. Oh my gosh, those fleas are really annoying. Are you kidding me? Really? This is annoying, by the way. Round two, now I've come back to kill you. Okay, starting off this time for real, we're going to want to do a couple of things. First up, we're going to want to lay down a, uh, a shield omega. Second off, we're going to want to lay down a offense down alpha. Third, we're going to try and do a tickle stick. And fourth, I'm going to sniff him to, to make sure what he does. 
Great, he just used he gave uh, flash pretty much. He didn't smell anything. Okay. Alright, so his defense has been decreased, his offense is about to be decreased. By 32. Shoot up Omega gives us shields on all of us. That's going to be very good. Facade has a shield, as you saw by that earlier mistake. Next, we're going to be doing a uh, defense up Omega. Followed by... A healing alpha. Followed by... I'm going to try a smoke bomb. I'm going to try and sniff again. Okay, so I, apparently I cannot sniff him. Alright. Didn't work. Defense up. Next I'm going to use an offense up, by the way. Basically, I'm going to spend the first couple of turns buffing my party. And then, I'm going to start attacking. Actually, I'm going to start attacking now. Get rid of my crying state. Now we got offense up. He has offense down, defense down. We have offense up, defense up. And we all have shields. So, this is pretty good. Next up, I'm going to try and blind him with PK Flash. Um, I'm going to try out uh, PK Freeze Beta. See if that works better. And he revitalized his shield. I need to put up a shield Omega. Or no, a shield Alpha on Boney. Actually, a shield Omega will work better. Okay, so Flash doesn't work. Good to know. Shield Omega will strengthen everyone else's shield. Reinforce shield, didn't work for Kumator because she never got attacked. Reinforce shield and gave a shield to Boney. Now, let's spread the love. He's able to move again. Too bad I have shields. Forgetfulness gas. Good thing I have the right equipment. Spread the love again. This time we're going to use love alpha. Yeah, freeze beta. Actually. I'm, th I'm feeling risky. Let's try thunder. On, hit twice. N once. Twice. Nice. Okay, Luke is gonna attack. Oh, thanks for the banana. With both our shields and our defense and offense up, this should be pretty good. And yes, I was right, he is down. New Facade was defeated. And this is interesting. How was Facade able to survive, you may ask? 
Well, we don't know for now, but we gained a lot of experience points. And Lucas is now level 38, HP up by 5, PP up by 4, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, IQ up by 2, speed up by 1. Kumtor is now level 37, HP up by 3, PP up by 4, offense up by 2, defense up by 2, IQ up by 1, speed up by 1. Duster is now level 33, HP up by 6, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, IQ up by 1, speed up by 1. And Boney is now level 38, HP up by 6, offense up by 2, defense up by 1, IQ up by 1, speed up by 2. And we got a present. There's the Luxury Banana. <laughs> Followed by... <laughs> Sod also says, I will humbly make you pay for this. And he says that it will be... It, and he says it with intense emotion. I believe it is an anger-filled emotion. Concludes my interpretation session. Something awoke inside of Lucas. We realized the power of PK Love Gamma. <sighs> I thought it would get pulled while I was asleep, but I saw it. I saw the needle get pulled. That leaves three more left. Unlike the other match suits, I'm very detail oriented. I tell you about the needles and then disappear. One needle is on Tentalan Island, south of Tasmili. I believe Mixil Mixilodia is protecting it. Another needle is in the Chupit... What? Chupit Chupyoi Temple, in deep in the Ordinary Mountains. I believe Ionia is protecting it. I think you already know this, of, of course. But it's said that the heart of whoever pulls the needles passed on to the Dark Dragon. Insist the power of power, the darkness of darkness, and the light of light into your spirit. Let me peer into your eyes. Thank you. Thank you. Lucas. I wrote down everything I told you in this secret notebook. Take it with you. Got Figria's notebook. And one other one. The needle is said to be sticking out of the dark dragon's head. I can't seem to locate it at all. Nor Locria, who's supposed to be protecting that particular needle. I'm so picky about details, yet I have no idea where they are. Having to disappear without finding out is a little bit sad. Please don't forget me. Here's a memento of me. A razor and lipstick. Please take good care of them, okay? And we got Frigurius Memento. So, we now know where two of the three locations are. And things are a little bit even in terms of who has needles. They've pulled two so far, but we've also pulled two. Will things continue to be even still? We'll find out. On the next episode, because, you know, I have to go a long ways. But, until then, guys, until then, I'll see you then.